Hey, what's up, guys, boys and girls, fellow collectors from all around the world? Ivan said, the French collector is back for yet another video, guys. The first video of 2022, actually. So let me start by wishing you all a very happy new year, guys. So a couple months ago, I showed you guys a piece that I'd owned for so many years, maybe 15 years. And I never made a video about it before. It was my replica of Davy Jones' chest from the second Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Um, the reason why I made this video all of a sudden was because a friend of mine got um, an amazing Davy Jones uh, life-size bus made of silicone. So I took my chest to his place to put both pieces side by side. And uh, man, that was unbelievable. So. If you haven't seen this video, I'll put a link in the description below. Go check it out because that Davy Jones bust is insane, guys. In that video, I mentioned the other pieces made by this amazing company, Master Replicas, a company that sadly no longer exists. And I said I would show you the rest of the collection in a separate video. So here it is guys, on display on their um, frames with their plaques and certificate of authenticity which I got framed as well. The sword was limited to 3000 pieces, the pistol, the flintlock was limited to 3000 pieces as well, the compass to 2500 pieces, the Davy Jones chest uh, was only limited to 2000 pieces. Before I go any further, um, a word for the newcomers, welcome to the channel guys, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for commenting, you know, I always love meeting uh, new people every day, movie buffs, collectors, you know, people to share the passion with, so yeah, thank you and stay tuned for uh, all kinds of movie related videos by subscribing and of course don't forget to activate that little bell button down below guys. So let me start with the sword. This sword is so beautiful. The only thing giving away that it's the replica are the copyright stuff engraved inside the guard. Uh, here it says Disney and Master Replicas, whatever, I don't know, but everything else is just perfect. All three props are made of uh, obviously metal, but mostly resin. Everything that's supposed to be wood is actually resin, which is only a very little letdown because obviously when you touch them it doesn't feel like the real thing, but uh, they are rare collectibles after all and are not meant to be handled. Um, but when they're on display mounted on their frames, they look absolutely stellar. Uh, for the sword here, the handle is resin, the guard is um, metal, the blade is made of steel, so over the years it needs to be taken care of. It's not very sharp, but it's very pointy and quite heavy, so I would avoid putting this on the wall right over your bed or couch. Moving on to the flintlock pistol. This is my favorite piece of the three, not only because it's just so beautiful with so many intricate details, the floral designs, the JS um, Jack Sparrow's initials on the back, but also because um, there's such a cool story behind this prop. Um, on the set of Pirates of the Caribbean, Jack Sparrow's pistol, the hero prop handled by Johnny Depp was actually a real flintlock pistol from back in the day. Uh, there were actually two of them, they were identical. Uh, and they were made in the 1700s by a gunsmith in London named Perry, um, William Perry, uh, I, I think. Hence these engravings on the side plate and on the barrel top, Perry, London. Uh, prior to filming, uh, they found the pistols in an antique store, bought them, made several copies of them, 
such as rubber replicas for uh, stun scenes and the real pistols were uh, only used when Johnny Depp had to fire them. I already showed Elizabeth Swan's medallion in the other video two months ago. Uh, here it is again because I'm just in love with this piece. Uh, the amount of details and the artwork on the skull side is just jaw-dropping. Um, Jack Sparrow's compass, um, over the years a lot of people uh, who visited me asked me can I just hold it for a second and then they go like um, but uh, it doesn't work. Well yeah if you've seen the movie you know that this compass um, Tia Dalma gave it to Jack Sparrow. Tia Dalma who was uh, some kind of a mystique, voodoo, sorceress, soothsayer, whatever and uh, it has supernatural qualities uh, so instead of pointing uh, north, it points to what its uh, owner's heart desires most. Um, yeah, I gotta say it's my least favorite of the three, not because it doesn't look good, but yeah, 95% of it is just uh, resin. The only metal parts on this really uh, are the, um, the ring in the back and the lock uh, in the front, but yeah. That's it for the Pirates of the Caribbean collection, guys. Um, again, check out the video I made two months ago with the rest of the jewelry, those rings, pendants, necklaces, whatever, and of course, Davy Jones' life-size bust and the, the amazing um, Dead Man's Chest replica. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Here you see the certificates of authenticity. You can just pause the video and read. Uh, they all came separately of course. Each piece had its uh, certificate. I um, just framed them. Thanks for watching guys uh, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Peace and love. Bye bye guys.